what's up you guys it's your boy the gotcha mogul here again with another banger video for you guys and i've been getting a lot of questions recently around my progression mogul why are you only level 65 when you hit level 60 in like the first week of artery gear now it's been almost a month and you're only level 65 it's not making sense are you getting bored of the game why aren't you farming anymore why aren't you why are you using the same gear set that you've been basic you basically had since level 50 and you got into level 15 and you're not doing anything else great observation that is actually exactly what i'm doing and that's intentional like i've mentioned before in my previous videos this is a marathon based game this game is specifically designed to be this way where farming is not farming infinitely is not the best way to go about this game and maximum efficiency efficiency right yes you can buy these stamina pots which i do think they're fairly priced i, I went through this already in a previous video uh the stamina refreshes are actually very fairly priced in this game because you know exactly what you're getting dollar for dollar right now the thing is in this game though where i've mentioned this already before in other videos there is a lot of scarcity when it comes to the upgrade maps so I'm making sure that I'm spending my resources IRL and in-game as thoughtfully and as efficiently as possible by sprinting and then taking my breaks in between uh, new collab events and new content in the game. So specifically for the new content that's coming up now, the Ryza event is actually having a stamina refund uh, part of the event. So you are actually going to be rewarded for spending stamina in that event, which is why I've been hoarding my stamina refreshes, right? Every day I've been going into the shop, making sure I've been giving my badge exchanges for my daily stamina refresh pots. Same here for the Alliance Supply, sample exchange, I actually need to do that one today. And of course the free daily that you get from the backup energy and making sure I do my missions, of course, so that I can get some additional stamina. Now this is important when it comes to your journey in artery gear, right? The ceiling in this game at first, it, it looks like an, uh, an annoyance, right? You're thinking to yourself, why would they hard cap such like a, a game that's so based on farming so much, right? Stamina sucks in this game. Oh, and then you can't upgrade gear on top of that. It's almost like they don't want us to play this game. Well, you have to think about this in the broader, um, in the reality of things, right? It's probably a good thing that they've capped it this way or else we would have all just went all in even myself right as a dolphin right you it's always better to go to through these gotcha games especially newer ones with a marathon based approach because it prevents you from putting all of your eggs in one basket right because there's always going to be a new shiny gotcha game that rolls out and you're probably going to want to spend money in that game as well so instead of putting all of your eggs in one basket, you're kind of just going along with the flow, thinking about how you're going to spend your money uh, more thoughtfully and more wisely as events and new content comes out with the game, which will help you determine whether or not you're going to continue investing in that game. Because when that new gotcha, that new shiny thing comes out, ahem, like Honkai Star Rail, which I know for sure I'll be playing that game, when those games come out, you don't want to be in a financially awkward position where you've already overly invested in a game like Artery Gear. So for me specifically, I, I'm actually very glad that there is a progression ceiling in this game because for two reasons. I don't feel this unction to spend in this game because I know the whales themselves are capped as well. Yes, they can farm more than me and they spent more money than me. But the issue is they probably have a bunch of just god tier gears in their inventory just sitting there at like plus six or maybe even plus ten and they can't even utilize them because of the progression cap in this game which is the upgrade resources right that i just talked about so it's very important to know that it's okay to take this marathon based approach in this game and specifically for me i'm saving up for this rise of collab because i'm trying to spend my resources thoughtfully and this is the approach that you guys should uh, take Every time you hear a new collab, do your research on the collab, whether or not it will be a time you're going to spend additional money in the game or additional time grinding. This is the best way to make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck when it comes to efficiency in your journey and artery gear. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. 
very short video but i wanted to give you guys a pulse check on what i've been doing as soon as that collab drops i promise you i'll be level 70 in like two days i'll have like at least 200 stamina pots just waiting for me to burn through them so i could benefit from the stamina reef uh, reef what is it refund event that they have and i'll be giving you a lot more uh try hard level content as you will from having better gears and just all of the try hard units just going in just for you guys right so you can live vicariously through me as a free to play or maybe a dolphin that doesn't have as much time to grind as i do so that's it for the video you guys please a like leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later